uh, excited that we, we went through into the next round. Excited for the hardworking players. Uh, matches after the transition, uh, it's your first match, official match after the break, are always very difficult. But I thought we controlled the game well, especially first half. We created enough chances, even second half, uh, to win clearly. If there's one wish that I had, I wish we would have taken more chances, 2-0, uh, 3-0, then it gives you a breather so that you can play correctly. Having said that, um, we worked for our luck, uh, penalty for Amazulu, which uh, uh, did well in stopping. But I still think we're the better team. I still think we, we played better. Um, just happy that we are through into the next round. Thank you, Coach. A uh, question from Mr. Delport, please. Thank you. Coach, uh, congratulations on the victory. Uh, it's Rob Delport in Cape Town. Yeah, we can hear Coach, you. Uh, okay, Coach, the question is, uh, beforehand you said uh, it could be a blessing in disguise to play a team like Amazulu first. Uh, how, how big was it to get through this and how much of a... Uh, a boost is it for the rest of the tournament? It's a real test and a good test. Uh, I can imagine uh, playing a team. We played Amazula last match uh, before the break, and you play them now. It's not always easy. And playing a team in the same league, PSL, at least you have an idea of where you're standing in terms of fitness, in terms of uh, where we want to, to be going. Uh, there's only positives from the match. Uh, you wouldn't read much if we we're playing the team from APC Motsepe in terms of where, where is our standing. Uh, we want to build from this. Uh, there's a tougher fixture that is coming ahead of us. We have to prepare for CAF. We have to prepare for the league match uh, against Arrows on the 16th. So one, at least it gave us a measure of where we are standing. There is a lot of work to be done, but I'm happy that we are where we are right now. Question from Mr. Chabalala, please. Hi, uh, good afternoon, coach. Uh, good afternoon, colleagues. This is Sonri Chabalala from the Big R. Coach, uh, this might appear like a very unfair question, but I would, li uh, I would like to ask it in any way. Um, AFCON, we've just seen that Mohango has been doing well. Does, has, has that given you guys some bit of reflection? because I saw that he was not taking part much at Orlando Pirates, but with the performance that he gave in the AFCON. So I'm, I'm sure it has made you guys to think otherwise. That's one. Secondly, um, this is the question that I say it might be a bit of, of unfair. Having listened to coach Benny McCarthy, and all the time, every week when we listen to coaches, people are complaining about bad referees and so on. I know that uh, this is not for you, the PSL, or Safa has to respond. Don't you think it's high time that uh, maybe come next season, we need to have VAR? Uh, I'm saying this, looking at the background that uh, uh, Dr. Patrice Mutsepe, in his first reign as a president of CAF, we've seen VAR being implemented. I know here at home, we are always being told that now we don't own the stadium and all that. Then I ask myself, how did it happen as far as CAF is concerned? What's your feeling about that? Uh, firstly, my brother, uh, the, the mango issue, um, both your questions are unfair, but anyway, I have to respond. Uh, Pirates have got, it's a big team. Uh, you've got strikers, mango, one of them. You've got Lipasa. You've got Mabasa, who was not part of the team. You have a pepper. So it's a galaxy of strikers, uh, although others were injured. So one, maybe the choice with the respect, the choice at Pirates, where players have been preparing for the past weeks and Mango just came back. We know he's a good player, but not because uh, anything is wrong with him. It's just competition. And currently we, we chose to go with Pepper uh, and Lipasa. He'll get his opportunity uh, in two course. He just have to work hard like other players are doing. Mabasa was not part of the team. He couldn't make the 20. And being a top player, being a player that plays in the national team. So Mango will wait like all other players. We recognize and acknowledge his performance um, in the AFCON. But maybe the league in South Africa uh, is bigger than AFCON. That's a question for another day. The second one, 
Uh, I heard uh, that uh, the challenge with VAR uh, is you must own the stadium. Uh, currently, teams in SA and in SA football don't own the stadiums. And now, how do you how do you implement and leave such an expensive uh, material in the guidance of nobody owning it? It will be nice to have VAR uh, because a lot of disputed decisions will be solved. Uh, like all teams, we also have a lot of decisions against us. I think we are one team that has had penalties against more than any other team. Yeah, I still have to go back and check. So one, uh, it happens this week, the other week, the other coach will be complaining. But VAR is a good decision. But possibilities and, and, and the ownership of stadiums in the country currently, hey, I'm not sure. But I would love to see it happening. Thank you, coach. A question for Mr. Pasha. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, or yeah, good afternoon, coach, and uh, congratulations on the victory. Uh, uh, coach, for you, just a quick one. Well, uh, Tembingo Siloch has been out for a long time, but uh, he put in not too good or not too bad performance, I think, fair. Uh, how, how important a player will Lodge be uh, towards the end of the season or from now on uh, until the end of the season? And secondly, coach, uh, I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to why hasn't Orlando Par it's brought in any players in January. Uh, your thoughts on that? And uh, and with Sundowns now doing what they're doing, are you afraid that you know uh, you might be no match for Sundowns this season? Thank you. Uh, the first one, Lodge. Lodge is a top player, and and I when I arrived here, Lodge was injured. I'm only seeing him, seeing him now after the injury, and you can see that he's developing. He's getting better with each game. That is why we're giving him more minutes in each match. Lodge is a, is a game decider. Uh, even the training match that we played, players have so much confidence that the game is played around him. Uh, you can see the decisions in the previous match against Amazulu, two assists, uh, and that's Lodge for you. So we're looking uh, for Lodge for a lot of things to happen around him. He's a top player, a lot of expectations around him. The history is behind him. Uh, he's one of those special players that any team would love to have. Uh, we're expecting a lot from him. Uh, in terms of the signings, uh, the, 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 the procedure and protocol in different clubs uh, is different. And, and, uh, and the fact that we have signed more uh, really doesn't necessarily mean uh, you're going to be successful. And uh, uh, I respect all protocols uh, within the club. We trust our management. We trust their judgment uh, in doing that. They've been doing that uh, for years. We'll wait on to them uh, to do uh, what they normally do and how they, they, they secure uh, uh, players. Like any other coach, uh, I would love to have Messi in our team. I would love to have Neymar, uh, but it depends. Does it make a, a, a business sense in signing a player? We should not sign players for the sake of signing them. We must sign them because we need them. We must sign them because we can afford to have them. And when you look at the league coming from COVID, uh, this club has been one team that has sustained the club uh, no decrease in salaries. So there's a lot of dynamics. So I wouldn't want to go deeper in why you sign, how you sign, and why, and at what time do you sign. Uh, at this current time, uh, we have the players that are at our disposal. And as coaches, we must use the players that we have until told otherwise. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Mr. Chabalala, you have another question. Yeah, uh, Coach, sorry, man, by being unfair to you. Um, probably this is going to sound very much unfair again. Uh, coach, um, I'm sure you as a former player uh, and your players, the impact of not having the fans uh, has a role to play as far as the motivation is concerned. Have you guys yet anything when the PSL is going to allow the fans to come in? Because I'm looking all over the world now. Everybody's attending the games. It's like it's only us who still, uh, uh, you know, uh, recognizing that uh, there is, uh, you know, we don't have social distance, although even the levels have gone down. Uh, to be honest, my brother, um, it's not in my control. And I always say, uh, I try to focus on what is within my influence. I can be concerned. But uh, you must remember that Pirates is a big team. And big teams have uh, player number 12, and that player number 12 is supporters. So it's one team uh, that will appreciate having supporters back on the field. But we must be aware 
I'm sure whoever is taking a decision in not bringing the supporters back, there's safety concerns. We should not look so stupid that uh, there is still a safety concern. And then we bring everybody and we've got regrets. I don't know the reasons, but I'm assuming that it's not a fact that they just don't want to bring the supporters back. It's the fact that the, the, the PSL adheres to the government. The government must give a go ahead that fans can go back in terms of the numbers, how many people can, can be in the stadium and whether everybody is vaccinated. I'm just assuming. So for us just to say fans must go back, I think it's too shallow. And let's go a bit deeper. How should it happen and when should it happen? Are we as a country safe enough? Are we in a safe zone as a country that we are not creating more disaster than what we have currently? But I would love to see fans in the stadium. Thanks, Coach. Another question from Mr. Delport. Thank you. Coach, uh, you mentioned the, the queue in the, in the strikers uh, that you have at the moment. Uh, is, it a, is it a nice headache when Mr. Radio Pani is also scoring goals for the DDC team like he is? That one is going to cause one of the coaches to faint here or get fired. Uh, joking. Uh, the young man is doing well and, and is in serious competition to, to, to play in the senior team. I would love to play him in the senior team. We have played him in some matches. But again, uh, if we work in harmony with our DDC team, uh, if we are not guaranteed that he's going to start a match here, we want to give him match minutes. We want to give him game time and develop better when he plays matches. He's a good player and there's more to come from him. I would love to have him and he's in the galaxy of strikers that I've just mentioned. When DDC is not playing, he trains with the senior team. Uh, which is why we want to fast track his development and I'm sure he's going to be a star in the future. 